and here is the question for one, one minute. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it's surgical and not mistaken, kindly please identify the structure labeled A to F. Can you identify structure A? First, can you tell me what kind of image are you looking at? Um, uh, this is uh, uh, the image of uh, brachial plexus All right, and good. muscles. Yes. Uh, the upper limb. Yes. Point so, muscles and uh, the nerves. If these are the nerves, if these are the brachial plexus that I'm showing you, what would they do? And since um, I don't know, they they do not have uh, they do not have the cadavers. But what they do, they have images very close to cadavers from very nice good atlases. Then they'll point at something and like I have labeled it, they'll point at some just like this is A, can you, would you be able to identify, like if you close your eyes and you imagine the anatomy of the brachial plexus, can you imagine and tell me what could that be, this structure? Uh, it's some muscle. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, it's a, probably it's a, there is major, um, major muscle. I'll we, come back. Okay, to we'll this. come back. Yes, very nice. Okay, yes, if you yes. can identify B for me. Uh, it seems to be uh, the median nerve. All right. C, can you have a guess or can you identify C over here? Uh, it seems to be a uh, nerve arising from the uh, medial uh, so okay uh, most all right we'll it's move on. yes d can you have yes. a guess uh, d uh, i would like to come to right. this okay can later. you identify e um, doesn't matter uh s we'll move on Otherwise, we'll revise the picture at the end. S, if you can tell me. Um, I would uh, deal with this later. All right. Okay. On can you please tell me place. how uh, brachial plexus are formed? Uh, it is formed from the nerve roots C5 to T1. Very good. Okay. In, but in 10% yes. of the... Yes. In 10%, uh, it will yes. be prefixed or postfixed. Yes, that, that was my next question, but you just end like here. Okay, what is prefixed? Prefixed when uh, brachial the plexus uh, uh, is formed from C4 to T, uh, C8. All right, okay. Nerve roots. When, is, when are the brachial plexus called postfixed? Uh, when uh, it involves C5 to T2 uh, nerve roots. All right, okay. Can you tell me the surface anatomy of the brachial plexus on a living person? Yes, ma'am. They uh, can ask uh, you uh, because uh, this one would involve patients. So there'll be a subject over there and they can ask you to draw on the patient. They'll give you a pen and they'll ask you to draw. Not necessarily brachial plexus. Brachial plexus, they'll give you a piece of paper to draw, but they can even ask you to draw on the subject and tell the surface and often. So kindly tell me the surface and often of the battery factors, please. Uh, the nerve roots, they arise from uh, intervertebral uh, 
intervertebral uh, uh, foramina from C5 to T1. Uh, in between medi uh, medial uh, and anterior saline muscle, median and anterior saline muscle. Yes. Then, uh, then they form the trunks which lie uh, uh, at the base of posterior triangle of the neck. Yes. Uh, uh, neck of what? Just over the uh, uh, posterior triangle of the neck at the neck of first rib, posterior okay. to third part of subclavian artery. All right. Second, uh, third part of subclavian artery. Then uh, the divisions they uh, they lie just posterior to medial uh, middle uh, one third part of the clavicle, and uh, then cords they uh, enter into the axilla uh, just uh, posterior to uh, okay uh, in relation to axillary uh, artery. Doctor Snell, I would have to interrupt you when they ask uh, for the surface anatomy. Then exactly uh, the exterior of the body part that you can see that, that you will explain yeah then okay can you tell me simply the dermatome of the brachial plexus on the patient yes. can you uh, show C5. it yeah but then uh, you would have to draw it if you uh, take the upper part of the arm and then yes. uh, little bit of the shoulder a uh, little bit of the axilla and then the medial medial because it's p1 mostly so it's uh, covers the medial aspect of the upper arm so that is the part of the dermatome which brachial plexus involves okay can you tell me the parts of the brachial plexus yes it's roots yes trunk yes roots trunk divisions cords and branches yes Okay, can you tell me what are the branches of the brachial plexus? Uh, the branches are uh, the branch. We can divide branches as branches yes. arising from roots, branches yes. arising from upper trunk, yes, and the terminal branches or yes. branches arising from cords. Yes. So the branches arising from the roots are lateral thoracic nerve, which supplies the rectus anterior, then supras uh, nerve to uh, the dorsal scapular nerve, supra scapular nerve, nerve to yes. subclavius. Okay. And uh, the uh, branches from the uh, lateral cord is lateral pectoral, yes. musculocutaneous, and yes. lateral root of median. All right. Now, arising me, from median. Yes, you're telling me right, so I have to interrupt you. Uh, can you please tell me where are the parts of the brachial plexus found? Now tell me. Where roots are located, where all these parts are located. So what you were telling me before. The roots, uh, they are located. Roots are located in between uh, salinus anterior and medius muscle. Very good. And the trunks. And trunk is uh, located just uh, over the neck of first tree. Yes. Posterior to third part of subclavian artery. Very good. Uh, what about the divisions? The, Where can you find divisions? Uh, just posterior to middle one third of the clavicle. Very good. Cords. And why are these uh, cords named I, accordingly? Yes. Uh, they lie, uh, they are named according to their relation to the uh, axillary artery, Very second good. part of axillary artery. Very good. Can and, you uh, tell me the, in yes, the injuries that, uh, that injuries or abnormalities can result because of the injuries to the brachial plexus? Yes. Uh, uh, do, uh, if uh, the there is injury at the upper nerve roots, yes, it can lead to injury to uh, the lateral thoracic nerve, which supplies serratus anterior, which causes yes. winging of scapula. Yes. Then, uh, if there is injury to uh, uh, supraspinatus nerve, then it yes. causes uh, loss of function of supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Yes. Injury at upper nerve trunk causes abduction palsy. Very good. What that is, can you explain, please? Yes, there is a loss of uh, a loss of uh, how the patient stupan. presents. Yes, yes, patient man presents with the waiter teeth deformity. Very there good. Abduction, external rotation, supination, and yes. elbow flexion. Yes, in the upper upper part. So yes. there is uh, the arm is in position adapted internally rotated elbow extended yes and pronated with flexion of the uh, wrist yes uh, what is another 
another deformity or another condition that can result because of the injury of uh, brachial plexus, which is in, uh, opposite to herbs palsy. Uh, yes, uh, injury to lower uh, lower good. nerve roots and yes. trunk result in plump case paralysis. Very good. How in the which they, uh, that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there is clawing of the ha all fingers of the hands. Yes. All of the hand is in claw. That is, the deformity is extension at metacarpophalangeal joint. It yes. may be hyperextension and flexion in distal interphalangeal joint. Yes. And that is okay. Yeah. Uh, the most common mode of injury of that uh, that lesion is. Can you tell? Uh, you mostly. Uh, mostly, it can be a trauma when uh, there is fall or uh, on an outstretched hand. Yes. Hyper abduction injuries of the shoulder. Yes. And birth injuries, birth canal injuries. Yes. Where arm is hyper extended. Breach deliveries, etc. Very good. Okay, very nice. Really happy the way you did it. It was the first time. That's why I would not expect too much from you. Thank you. Uh, very good. Okay. Right. Now, if we can come to, this is a muscle, right? You knew that. So this is biceps brachii, short head. Okay. So B, you said median nerve. It was correct. Right. So C okay. was ulnar nerve. I think you named that correctly as well. So before I tell you D, do you want to guess it again? Because your guess is correct. You know the anatomy. Yes. Uh, See? Is, is it a lateral pectoral nerve? And, uh, musculoskeletal. musculoskeletal. That's yeah. musculoskeletal. Yes, good. E, would you want to guess? Uh, it's it's a the posterior cord. It's a hint I'm giving you. Because I see think, how uh, it is dividing and it is going behind posteriorly. So it's a posterior cord. So this is axillary nerve. Yes. E is axillary nerve. And S? Yes. It's uh, uh, radial nerve. Very good. Excellent. S is radial nerve. Yes. Radial nerve. Good. So that does it. 